Well, hello, everybody. I am excited about today's Fuel for Success. Looking forward to uh, working with my friend Mike Hopkins today on a very, very important subject. Every Monday will be health and weight loss. I'm excited today. We're going to be talking a lot about juicing and just getting healthy. It's, it's a new year, my friends. The good news is even if you're overweight, even if you are have disease and sicknesses, you can get healthy, and we're going to help you with that. And let me just say this real quick. We are not doctors. We do advise each of you to understand that we're just giving motivation and encouragement that you should always consult your physician uh, or an expert uh, when it comes to your health. So what we're talking about is uh, fruits and vegetables and juicing and attitude and exercise and a healthy lifestyle. So please understand we are not doctors. Mike, excited about today's subject. We got a lot of questions. Looking forward to it. How have you been? How was your weekend, my friend? Weekend was good. Uh, it's Ready been very week? cold here. I'm was looking forward to a, this an amazing week. You got to do some hunting. How was it, man? Oh, it was great. Uh, well, you know, it's great to get out, and we, we got uh, five or six miles of heavy brush busting and uh, deep snow, so that was a good workout, first of all, and uh, also enjoyed time, Exercise. Uh, you know, fellowship with the guys, so we had a wonderful time. Got a little workout for the beagle. Get any rabbits. Uh, chase. Were rabbit hunting, squirrel we, we, got, we were rabbit hunting. We ended up getting four rabbits, which uh, is pretty good for, for us here in Minnesota. Are you going to so eat So we had a good them? time. We'll... Uh, yeah, and you know, actually, wild game is an incredibly uh, healthy thing to eat. It's very lean, uh, lean source of protein. I think I'll find so, my and I love rabbits. in other areas, my friend. I'll leave <laughs> the rabbit for you. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll take it. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, today's topic. Hope we got a lot of questions that are already coming in about juicing and health, and uh, we want to get to as many of them as possible. Uh, so, man, it's going to be a great week, Mike. This is our first full week of Fuel for Success. Of course, I want everyone to know this is a daily internet talk show that airs every single Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, what's cool is all of these shows are recorded and archived on our website at fuelforsuccess.com.tv. Fuelforsuccess.tv. So take us away, Mike. Tell us what we got coming. Bring bring the questions at us, my friends. Hey, we've got tons of questions. Questions keep coming in. And uh, I'm going to start out uh, with, uh, with a question for you, which is, uh, you know, it's really shortly after the first of the year, New Year's. A lot of people are looking at getting healthy. Uh, what's your best advice to someone uh, to get healthy? You know what? I'm going to have fun with this question, okay? Let's pretend okay. right now that I'm on national TV and the entire world is watching for the next five minutes. And, and I have okay. five minutes to get this world healthy, okay? This is, what I'm gonna, this is what I would say to the world. Number one, what we do not want to ever do again in our life is go on a diet. What we want to focus and commit to is a healthy lifestyle. Diets lead to discouragement and failure. And actually, believe it or not, diets can be very unhealthy for you. What we want to do is we want to start having a healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle, my friends, begins in the mind. It begins with a positive, upbeat, energetic attitude because it doesn't matter how, how good you eat. If you're negative, if you're bitter, if you're stressed, it's going to affect your health. So, and if you smoke and you drink and you do these things that abuse your body, understand. And if you neglect daily exercise, let's keep it simple. It doesn't, it, it honestly is not hard. We overcomplicate this whole issue of health and weight loss because we didn't grow up with parents that trained us how to be healthy. We didn't grow up with parents that taught us healthy habits. The simplicity of just eating five pieces of fruits and vegetables a day and how that would impact our health through every week. If just Monday through Friday, it's so simple, you would eat a good, healthy, um, 
good healthy meals and good healthy habits of exercise and drinking a lot of water with lemons. So I'm going to start with the fact that I believe that to get healthy, you need to have an alkaline lifestyle. And one of the things that you can do immediately to get yourself cleansed and uh, that will help your health is to start drinking a lot of water with lemon. So what I would encourage you to do is get three lemons and a gallon of water and drink, try to set a goal to drink a gallon of water with lemon a day if possible, if at least a half a gallon, okay? Second thing I would tell you to do is to get a daily exercise habit, at least 20 to 30 minutes of good physical fitness is so good for your health, good for your mind, good for your body. It helps break up toxins, and toxins are what causes diseases. The fact that we don't detoxify and, and all sickness begins in the colon. So we're going to start, Mike, with water with lemon, exercise, and I'm going to get you into the habit of juicing. Everybody, Mike, ask me on a daily basis. I get emails of what juicer to use. I'm gonna help keep it simple for you if you would go and invest in a Nutribullet. I've studied every juicer there is. This is a Nutribullet. It is so simple. You literally put your fruits or vegetables or fruits and vegetables in this thing, put water in it, and literally just put it down and just turn it and it juices it up really good. I tell people, look, don't sip it, chug it. Because if you juice some of the recipes that I'm going to give you, number one, what I'd love to see, you you need more greens in your lifestyle, not diet. You need a lifestyle of greens, broccoli, kale, spinach. You have to find a way Monday through Friday to put greens in your body. Most of you are not going to eat broccoli. Most of you are not going to eat kale or spinach. That's why I encourage you to juice it. What I do is put broccoli, spinach, and kale, or one of the other, in this Nutribullet with a tomato or a red pepper or both. Sometimes I'll add a piece of garlic, especially if I'm not going out in public. Sometimes I'll add a beet to it, but that is a very healthy drink. Also, very good to be juicing berries, especially for those that have heart disease or you have heart disease in your family, your body needs antioxidants. Antioxidants will give you more energy. It's good for the heart. So I juice a lot of berries in the morning. Now, the second juicer that you'll want to invest in, and maybe you can't do all at once, but you need to make it a priority in 2014 to get these two juicers in your home. The second one, my friends, is the Jack LaLanne, okay? This right here is one of my favorite juicers. Now, You'll spend an extra $50, but it's well worth it to get this stainless steel Jack LaLanne. I've had this one about two years, literally use it almost every day and still works perfect. And it's just a higher quality juicer. It lasts longer and it juices up the carrots and apples a whole lot better. I firmly believe that you should have a consistency of juicing carrots and apples. Carrots are life. They're healing. They destroy cancer. The mixture of carrot and apple helps you detoxify. If you did carrot and apple every day, you would never need a laxative again, my friends. You would stay. uh, You would have good, healthy bowel movements, not to get too graphic. You need bowel movements. You need bowel movements on a daily basis. I know people that that don't have a bowel movement. You know what I'm talking about when I say bowel movement. They haven't had a bowel movement for four or five days. This is killing you. I couldn't go a day without... At least a good two bowel movements, my friend, and juicing will definitely help. Good recipe for the Jack LaLanne is carrot and apple. Really good if you add a lemon. Really good if you add ginger to it. Oh, you want to talk about a power drink. You want to talk about a drink that will give you energy, that will change your countenance, that will help you feel good. It's carrot and apple, one lemon, and some ginger. And woo, sometimes maybe I put celery in it, and that is a drink right there, my friends. So, Mike, literally doing those things, and let's keep it simple eliminate a lot of sugar and processed foods and uh, white flour uh, from our lifestyle of eating. If we could juice, here's what I would tell people juice twice a day, eat a salad once a day. 
and eat white meat, whether it's turkey, fish, or chicken. Who couldn't do that Monday through Friday? Drink a lot of water with lemon. You'll have the best week of your life. You'll feel good. You'll lose weight. You'll have more energy. You'll sleep better. You'll be a better wife, a better husband, because you'll have more energy. So that's what I would say, Mike. My best advice to get healthy is exercise daily. Drink a lot of water with lemon. Cut the sugars, the white flour. Cut out fast foods, especially with our children. Good habits, a lifestyle. You know, some kids eat fast food every day. Some families eat fast food every day. Um, and I honestly believe, Mike, because a lot of people say, well, I can't afford to eat healthy. I believe the healthier you eat, the more money you can make in life because you'll feel better. You'll feel more confident. You'll have more energy to get more things done. You'll be a better employee. And you might even be able to go into business for yourself if you get healthy. You'll feel good. Now, should I be doing infomercials? I, you know, maybe, maybe. Maybe. I think Jack LaLanne and Nutribullet should probably be sending you a check. Um, Drink green tea, too. I would add green tea, too. I mean, tea <laughs> is so healthy for you. Green tea is good. Uh, we need, Mike, we just we, we eat so many toxic foods that we don't, we don't detoxify enough. And that's why there's so much sickness in our country. Knock on wood, blessing of God, the entire 2013, I wasn't sick one day. Not one day. Now one day, literally now one day sick in 2013. I honestly believe it's because of attitude, juicing, and eating right, and exercise. Exercise kills stress. Exercise right. uh, gives you more energy. Exercise will clear your mind. Exercise will make you feel better about your body. I like that. And, you know, you touched on several things throughout all that, um, that, that I'd like to sort of, sort of, uh, key off of. And, and one of them, you mentioned, um, you know, some people say they can't afford to, to juice every day. And, you know, when I go in the store, I see there's, there's an organic section over here. Uh, and then there's the rest of the produce. And one of the questions that we get a lot is, uh, what, you know, is it important to get all organic? Should I always juice organics? Um, what, are, what are your thoughts on that? Mike, that's a good question. I get that a lot as well. Um, you know, I under, let, let, let's first, first of all, I believe in the power of thought. I don't believe you should ever be negative about finances or you should ever have a poverty mind of I can't afford. Don't say I can't afford. Say I don't have the money yet because I believe, I believe money has an energy to it. I believe money is spiritual. I believe a lot of people's Poverty thinking and negative thoughts about money actually keep money from coming into their life. So never be jealous of someone that does have the money to, to maybe live a good life or, you know, look at them and say, you know, I'll be there one day. I'm happy for them, you know, or say I'm next or one day I'll have that, have that kind of energy. So I would say that first and foremost. Secondly, make it a priority. This is your one body. This is it. I see more people yeah. invest more in their car than they do their body. A lot of times when it comes to not being able to afford it, it's an issue of priority, and it just was never important. So healthy foods and vegetables and fruit uh, didn't become part of their budget. Now, we, we budget. I mean, people have cable bill. I mean, people have, you know, you know, so it, it all comes back a lot of times, not always, a lot of times comes to priority. Now, having said that, eating an all organic lifestyle is much more expensive. It's a goal that you should have, not necessarily drastically a matter of life and death, because if you just do the simple things that I said, let's put it to you this way, a non-organic carrot and apple juice is 10 times better, my friends, than a cheeseburger and a fry from McDonald's. No, it's not 10 times better. It's 100 times better. Yes. It's better than the processed food that we eat that has no nutrients, all kinds of chemicals, foods that actually cause diseases. So get that in your mind that, oh, don't freak out because you can't get all organic fruits and vegetables right now. Get what you can and 
But make sure if you don't buy organic fruits and vegetables, always wash them. I wash them anyways. No matter what, I wash my fruits and vegetables before I put them in my body because unfortunately some of them are sprayed with chemicals that might help them grow faster or whatnot. But honestly, it's not, it's not a matter of life and death in my opinion. It's a goal. You should do it. Why not? It's always better to get organic and what we consider all natural. In my opinion, what are your thoughts on that, Mike? Well, I think that uh, prioritization is is exactly key there. And some some uh, I actually had a doctor tell me, a nutritionist tell me that uh, the 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 prioritization should be anything that that grows underground uh, should be the first thing that you buy organic. So, for example, if you could afford thirty percent of your fruits and vegetables to be organic, then you should start with the things that grow underground, like your carrots and your beets. Uh, and then as you progress up from the ground, then it becomes less important. So like bananas are less important um, and celery is sort of in between. So so get your root vegetables organic first, you know, focus on that. And then as as you can, as, you, as you're able to afford it and as you, uh, you know, maybe refocus your budget and refocus your priorities, then sort of move up uh, vertically the... Um, I don't know what you call it, the food stack, yeah, uh, the food higher list. up the, the – That What you just said is actually golden advice, very good stuff. Now, Mike, before you go to the next question, I want to push one off on you because we're going to be talking today because I've seen some of the questions that are coming in about detoxifying our body. I have some thoughts on that. But you actually lived it. You actually had a disease. And I want you to share your story because it's going to help people. And you actually did a long – juice fast. I want you to tell your experience and what you learned because listen, look in my eyes right now, my friends. Some of you need a juice cleanse immediately. I'm not talking about a two day. I'm talking about a 10, 21 day juice cleanse. Your body desperately needs it because of how bad you've been abusing it. You haven't been exercising. You haven't been drinking enough water with lemon. You haven't kept your body alkaline. Your body's acidic. You got a lot of sugar, a lot of processed foods, a lot of white flour. Listen, white flour, salt, and sugar, the three white demons are killing our bodies, my friends. Sugar is the devil. And one of the reasons, it's not the devil that you're sick. It's the sugar that the devil came in. Mm. Oh, I don't understand people that... You know, the Bible says, why be foolish and die before your time? I honestly believe there's some people that die not because it was meant to be, not because it was their time, but because they made choices on a daily basis to not put nutrients in their body, to not exercise, to not use God's vitamins, fruits and vegetables. I'll be honest with you. I went the entire year without being sick. I feel better than I've ever felt in my life. And I didn't take one vitamin this year. Now, I do believe in a multivitamin, a men's multivitamin. But all these people that take all these vitamins, listen, I believe God gave us what we need in fruits and vegetables. The reason why we need all these supplements is because we don't use God, what God has chosen, and that's fruits and vegetables. I believe we need fruits and vegetables in our body on a daily basis. And if you have abused your body, you need a juice cleanse. And I want Mike to tell his story because it's powerful of the juice cleanse that he went on. How did you feel, Mike? Tell me what the struggles were. And I'm going to ask you some questions as you're going through it. So tell us your story real quick about your juice cleanse. Sure. Uh, just a little background on a couple of years ago. I'm, I'm an outdoorsman. I was out uh, in the woods and, and uh, suffered a, a, you know, a bite from a wood tick, a, well, a deer tick and uh, was, was diagnosed shortly after that with Lyme's disease, which is sort of an autoimmune disease that's um, a blood bacterial sort of thing. And, uh, you know, immediately got on uh, broad spectrum antibiotics, which, which pretty much knocked out for the most part the, the disease or rendered yeah. it, uh, you know, immobile. But the effect of 50 days of broad spectrum antibiotics and then some lingering effects from the disease itself on my body were um, – you know, I tried to tried to live with it for a while, and it was just it was kind of out of control. Uh, there were all kinds of things going on, uh, joint pain, muscle pain, and just just weird things going on. And uh, I actually read a book called Clean by uh, Dr. Alejandro Younger, 
which talked about detoxifying the body and talked about a lot of the mucus buildup and the things that happen in our body. And I went on the a 21 called, day juice clean. fast. The book is called. Yeah, clean. I actually have. Show us. Clean. Clean. Uh, it's right a here. very good book. I have it on my shelf. Mike, three things you got out of that book that 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 just impacted you. Well, one one thing that really impacted me was was the natural cycle that our bodies have of detoxifying that I was completely unaware of. Um, you know, for example, every day our body is designed to detoxify. While we sleep, um, we sh we should be detoxing. Uh, unfortunately, as Americans, a lot of time we'll hit a you know Burger King drive through at eleven o'clock at night. We'll wolf down a burger or something, go to sleep, and and it's already you know midnight one o'clock in the morning our bodies are metabolizing and we're digesting that food whereas we should have stopped eating at six o'clock so our bodies don't have a chance to detox because they're too busy expending all that energy wow. um, absorbing and our liver doesn't have a chance to detox at night all the time all the time and even like a, a late night snack or whatever I mean I use Burger King because it's an extreme example but but we you know our bodies don't have a chance to detox then and so we really should focus on having eight to ten hours every single night of fast time where we don't have any food in our in our bodies and our our liver can take that opportunity to to um, you know detoxify our bodies so that's hey, one thing that I learned which that, really Mike? impacted me. it's not called breakfast it's called break fast that's what breakfast yes. was for, break fast. And I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. Okay, Mike, so you decided after reading clean to go on a 21-day juice cleanse? Yes. So for 21 yeah. days, and all you did was juice. You didn't eat any meats, no sandwiches, no chips, no donuts, no oatmeal, just <laughs> straight-up juice? Straight juice uh, using a centrifugal juicer, um, and and you you pointed out the two juicers that you use, the NutriBullet and the Jack Lalane. The Jack Lalane is a is a centrifugal type juicer, which, as you know, the juice comes out like um, you know one part, and then the pulp gets pushed out to the side. Yeah, absolutely. And so the pulp doesn't get ingested, and the reason, yeah, exactly. And the reason that I used a centrifugal juicer is because um, that pulp, when it gets in your in your body. What I wanted to do was really give my body a rest for 21 days. I was just putting nutrients in so that I so that I could stay healthy, but my body didn't have to spend any time digesting, breaking down that fiber, feel better. Uh, all of that pulp. And so I was uh, no pulp, straight juice uh, for 21 days. Okay, so let me days. ask you this. So you did it no 21 days. All. Was it hard at first? It was hard for about four or five days, yeah. How did you and, mentally? Uh, after that, it really, mentally, it really. Let's suppose there's. I believe there's people on the show that need to do this. Literally, 21 straight days of nothing but juicing. What's your advice for them mentally? Uh, what's your advice for them physically? What What would you tell them? Uh, well, you know, I, I would start every day with meditation, prayer, and God's word because that's what really fueled me and kept me strong. Uh, the other thing is drink a lot of water, and. Um, and, and actually, you know, I consumed quite a bit of juice. I, I would probably go through seven or eight pounds of apples every single day. So there was a lot of juice and a, and a lot of, uh, um, you know, I spent a lot of time juicing every day. So uh, four or what five, maybe six times a day, juice? I would create juice. Did you have like a certain pattern that you followed in the morning? Like how often did you juice and what did you, what did you juice? Uh I, I stayed really pretty simple uh, with a base of carrot and apple, and then I built from there. And I actually discovered that when I put a, like a half a cucumber and a quarter of a lemon in with carrot and apple, uh, and I do about a quart of that juice, I absolutely loved that um, that combination and would, would drink that two or three times a day. It was fantastic, and I, and I just loved it. Um, I'm not a picky eater, so for me, it, it wasn't. I didn't have to do a lot of variety. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of actually the book has a lot of different recipes and a lot of uh, opportunity uh, options for someone. Um, I also did a lot of kale uh, and a lot of spinach just to keep my greens up and actually chard as well, which is a green leafy chard vegetable that, that has. I, a, I don't know about yeah. you. I want to go juice. Uh, I, when I'm I know. I love it. I love I'm celery going to too. juice. You got me motivated. You got the dude that wrote a book about juicing. Who's got two juicers <laughs> sitting here? Pumped about juicing again.
Right. And you know, you imagine talked about this. water and one now of the imagine this, right? You did it for twenty one days. Imagine if we could just do this twice a day, Monday through Friday. Or Monday through Saturday. True. Imagine the, the, just, the, the simplicity of juicing in the morning, juicing in the afternoon. Fruits in the morning, vegetables in the afternoon. Oh, how it would impact our life, man. Okay, so tell us the results. After 21 days, tell us everything that you noticed, what you experienced, what you saw. Did you go to the bathroom a lot? I, I did because I didn't have a lot of pulp. I also, I also, I also supplement. The only quote-unquote supplement that I used was I used a, a, a sort of a natural fiber laxative. Um, just to make sure that I had the bowel movements that you're talking about, because that's that's a you know one of the major ways that our body cleanses itself. It's a natural way that we cleanse, and you have to keep that that flow going. So um, I, I went to the bathroom quite a bit. Uh, I also, like I said, I drank a lot of water. And one of the things that I learned from the book is I, I think about it in these terms: if if most Americans, if you could give them a pill that would give them more energy, make them healthier, uh, and all those, they would they would spend hundreds of dollars a month. Yeah. To lose weight, have more energy, and and, and all the, and and to look better and feel better, and and the, they don't need to spend hundreds of dollars. It's free. It's called water. Well, the, the diet industry and the energy 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 drinks and diet, right? Billion dollar industries, and yet we can't afford to juice, but yet we can afford to go to the doctor, we can afford to go to the hospital, we can afford medications. We got to back it up, my friends. We got to get back to God's answer. Listen. We are the temple of God, Mike. God actually expects us to take care of our body. I really believe it's a sin. It is a sin and an insult to our creator when we put all these things in our body that literally we're inviting it. We're saying to God, give me cancer. Make me sick. Let me have a heart attack. That's what you're saying. When you eat all that red meat, all those fast foods, all that fried food, you're literally saying to God, I want a heart attack. I want a heart attack. When you're eating all this sugar and you're eating all these processed foods and you don't juice and you don't drink a lot of water and you're drinking all that soda, you're inviting, you're literally opening the door for cancer to come in. Literally, that's what you're doing by violating the laws of health. And then, you know, Mike, we got three minutes left. So in the next three minutes, can I ask you this? Um, sure. Just real quick. When the 21 days was done, did you feel better? Did you heal? What 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 became of it? Uh, you know, like I said, I had joint pain and muscle pain prior to the juice fast. I would also literally break out. 80% of my body would break out in hives every single night at about 7 o'clock p.m. Just like clockwork for about an hour, and it was you know it was obviously that wasn't any fun. Uh, at the end of 21 days, all all three of those symptoms disappeared, uh, and literally they, they haven't returned. I. I, you know, I eat regularly today. I stopped the juice fast after 21 days, but it literally cleansed my body to the point where those symptoms disappeared. See, see, so yes, do it. Now we got two minutes left, Mike. So in the next two minutes, let me just throw this out there. My friends, the good news is we're going to have 52 episodes of health and weight loss because every single Monday, Mike and I are going to be talking and sharing health and weight loss secrets. And we're going to be interviewing some people. I met a guy this week that lost 92 pounds the healthy way, the all natural way. And I just believe it can be done. I've seen too many people do it. I've done it through my weight loss coaching and my, my life coaching. So if the, the takeaway of this episode today my friends is immediately start drinking water with lemon you got to purify your body you got to cleanse your body you've got to get out the toxins you got to stop stop drinking soda cokes cokes are killing you they're ki you got coke in your house you go pour it down the drain right now don't wait till it's done i don't care if you spent five dollars on it you go pour it out right now having coke in your house is as bad as having a rattlesnake. You would not allow a rattlesnake in your house. Do not allow yourself to drink Coke. Coke is killing us. It's killing us. Get rid of the sugar. You don't need sugar in your house. Get rid of everything in your house that has sugar. Start now, today, with a healthy lifestyle of juicing. I know I just went extreme right there, Mike. We need to be extreme. Mm -hmm. This is our health. People say, are you a health nut? Yes, I am a health nut. This is my one body that I get for my one life. We're not supposed to live sluggish or lazy or apathetic or sick. It's 
It's not God's will for us to be sick. It's God's will for us to be healthy, energetic, and vibrant. Mike, I'm excited about our call tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to be talking about life coaching, practical life coaching. Every Tuesday we dive into how to manage time and balance and stress and just our personal life. Today's episode was so motivating. You inspired me. I'm getting my juicers right now and I'm going in that kitchen and I'm juicing and I hope all of you that are watching do the same thing. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow at 11 o'clock.